project is this super easy, fun little wall shelf. As usual, the cutting list is in the description box below, so let's get started. We're going to begin by shaping the back piece. So turn it lengthways like that, and we're going to make a pencil mark 42 millimetres, and that's 1 and 21 30 seconds of an inch from what will become the bottom edge. So 42 millimetres, 1 and 21 30 seconds of an inch from the bottom edge. Turn the piece back the right way around and join that line up. Place your rule just below the pencil marks to allow for the thickness of your pencil. And then we're going to make a little pencil mark in the centre at the very top edge. Like that. You can then bring in your craft knife and we're going to cut at a diagonal between the pencil marks. So from the central pencil mark there, you want to place the rule right at the top of it and then to the very edge of the pencil line on the side there. Hold on to your rule nice and tightly, do a light cut and then you can go across a couple more times a little bit deeper. and then do the same at the other side. You can then erase or sand away the pencil line. We're now going to bevel one end of each of the slanted sides and of the side pieces. So I've just laid them out like this to help you identify those pieces. So we've got a wall shelf base which is cut from the 2.5mm sheet wood, our back piece which we've just shaped. You've then got three identical pieces which are the top, bottom and shelf. So leave those to one side and then it's these four pieces that we want. So you've got two pieces there which are the slanted sides and they're of slightly different lengths and then you've got those two side pieces which are identical in length. So it's these four pieces that we want to bevel. So push those to one side, bring in your sandpaper so it's laying flat on your work surface and we're going to bevel one short end of each of these pieces. So hold the piece against the sandpaper at a 45 degree angle and sweep it towards you, keeping it at that angle. You can see that's just starting to bevel off there. You can then finish that piece off in your hand with a piece of fine grade sandpaper and just sweep it across it like that. And then do the same with each of those pieces. We're also going to bevel one long edge and both short edges of the wall shelf base piece. I'm going to do that in the same way, so hold it at a 45 degree angle and sweep it towards you. Keep going until you've got a nice sharp bevel. Then do the same thing at each end. You can then tidy that piece up in your hand with a piece of fine grade sandpaper. These pieces are now ready for paint. I'm going to be using this dual green emulsion paint which contrasts nicely with the lining paper I want to use. The paint is now completely dry so we're ready to attach the lining paper to the back piece. So bring in your back piece and apply glue. Make sure you get it right along the edges of the piece. Okay. And then 
lay it onto your scrap of paper and I've left the paper just slightly larger than the back there but I'm going to lay it along a straight edge or two straight edges press that into place and I now want to put something on top of there to weigh that down to dry so just begin by putting a little piece of kitchen towel on top and then you can weigh that down with whatever you have to hand and that can be left to dry. Once you've allowed enough time for the glue to dry, use your craft knife to trim around the paper. We're now almost ready to begin construction, but we're going to begin by doing a line across our back and side pieces for placement of the central shelf. So turn the back piece onto its side like that, and we're going to make the pencil mark from the bottom edge and nine, 19 millimetres, and that's three quarters of an inch. So just do a little pencil mark each side 19 millimetres, three quarters of an inch, and then turn that, place the rule just below your pencil marks and join the line up just with a faint line. And then you want to do the same thing again on each of those side pieces. So again, 19 millimetres, three quarters of an inch from the bottom edge. Join that up. there and the final one like that and now we're ready to begin construction so we're going to begin by attaching the first side piece to the outside edge of the back piece and the first side piece you want the beveled edge to be facing on the outside edge. So begin by applying glue along the side of your back piece. Pop it back down on your surface and attach the side, making sure your pencil lines are lined up. Have a spare cocktail stick handy just to remove any excess glue. We're now going to attach the first of those three identical sized pieces. So we've got the top and bottom and the shelf there. So take one of those and this first one's going to sit along the top edge there. So it sits just under the line of where you've cut the diagonals for the point of the shelf. So apply glue to one short and one long edge. And attach it to the top of the side piece so that you've got a nice flush edge along there. And then turn it round so you can position the other edge of it right on the point of where we've cut the diagonal there. And you've got a little bit of time to move it about before the glue begins to take. Press that together as well. Make sure it's pushed right into that corner as well. And then again, you can remove your excess glue. So the next piece is going to become the central shelf and that will sit just above our little pencil line but so that you're hiding the pencil line as well. So again apply glue to one long and one short edge. Oops. So I'm using a pen the pencil line as a guide but I'm also hiding it with the shelf so we can't see the line once the shelf is complete. Press the pieces together again, get my hand out of the way, like that. Okay, don't forget about that excess glue. Really important that you remove it as we go along because we're not going to be sanding this piece again. 
once we've constructed it, it will be complete. And the final of those three pieces is going to become the bottom piece and that will sit on the inside edge of the joined pieces. So again, apply your glue to a short and a long edge. Again, make sure you've got that flush line along the bottom. right into the corner my top shelves popped out a little bit I'll just push that back in the glue hasn't yet completely taken so you can do things like that always be looking around make sure everything's staying where it should we're now ready to attach the other side and again, the beveled edge will be on the outside edge. So apply glue to the side edges. Lay that back down and attach the remaining side. Press it all together and you can have a little peep inside and make sure that that shelf is sitting just above that little pencil line. Make sure the top piece here is in line with the top of the side as well. Give it all a good squeeze. Whilst I'm holding it together I'm going to remove that excess glue. That piece can be left to dry off for a moment and then we'll attach the angled pieces. We're now going to attach the slanted sides and on the left hand side you want to have the shorter one and then the longer one will go on the right hand side and it's just longer because that one then has to take into account the top of the shorter side so it just needed to be a little bit longer. So take the shorter one and this time the beveled edge will be facing towards the unit. So apply glue along the slanted edge. And then put a little bit along the beveled edge of that side. Lay that back down and attach the slanted side so that the top of it is flush with the point of the roof so you've got a nice flush edge running along there. I kind of need to just pull that up a little bit. Press it into place. And I'll remove that excess glue in a moment. Now we can apply glue to the other slanted edge and this time along the top of that first slanted side and again along that beveled edge. Lay that down again and remember to have your beveled edge facing inwards. And this time you want a nice flush edge along the top of the two pieces. Along there, so make sure that's nice and flush. And then you can press it all together. You want to make sure the glue begins to take before you remove the excess glue because otherwise you might just find that it comes apart. So as you're removing the glue just hold on to it. Again just let that dry off for a moment and then we'll attach the bottom piece. So apply glue to the bottom of the shelf. Make sure you get it right along the edges and then bring in your bottom piece and you want to make sure that the back of the shelf is flush with the back of the piece and that you've got an even overhang at each side. So just get that roughly into position and then you can manoeuvre it if you need to. So you've got the same amount overhanging at each side. 
give it a press down. Make sure you've got that flush edge along the back as well. Mine is not that out of place. Just use your thumb along there to make sure that's nice and flush. Then you can give it a press down. And again, don't forget to remove the excess glue. And that can then be left to dry. And there is the completed wall shelf. I really hope you've enjoyed this one as well. Another quick and easy, fun little project. And I think this would make a lovely festive wall shelf if you used a festive paper at the back there. You could even use wrapping paper if you've got something with a nice small design on it. So that's it for this one. I'll see you again soon. Thank you.